From Hollywood, it's the Crosswits with number one across, Rita Moreno. Number two down, Nipsey Russell. Number three down, Misty Rowe. And number four across, Jack Riley. The keeper of the crosswits, Jack Clark. Hi, how are you? Good to be with you again. Nice week here. And the guys are together. We are together. Yes, we are. Jack Riley, Nipsey Russell. Yes, sir. Do I feel... My voice is getting stronger now. I'm using it so much more. I have to sing loud because there is no lock on the bathroom door. <laughs> <laughs> no what you mean. Hey, say hello to your captain. Going to give birth to a little contestant any day now. Tells us she really took an aerial tramway yes, uh, trip to the top of Squaw Valley where they couldn't take her back the, down the mountain because of the high winds. Rather than risk a mountaintop maternity event, a uh, gallant worker drove her back down the mountain in the back of a snowplow. Son of a gun. <laughs> we better hurry along here. Say hello to Paula Hewitson. How are you, Paula? Fine, thank you. Somebody want to boil some water? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, keep it going out there, yeah. Okay, the ladies are waiting over there to do battle. Rita Moreno and Misty Rowe. <laughs> Misty is hee-hawing and Rita is doing the, uh, let me see if I, the anatomy of a seduction? Yes, juicery. Juice, did I say that? Juicery rhyme. <laughs> okay, yeah. Do you speak English real good like real, me? Real good, huh, yeah. From the high, Say, the gentleman that you've got standing behind there is a writer. Pretty imaginative one, too, I must admit. On his uh, contestant application form, he described one of his jobs, which is that of a garbage man. He described it, get this, domestic commodities transporter. <laughs> wow! How about that? That sounds like a creative Al Cummings. Hi, Al. <laughs> Domestic <laughs> commodities transporter. That is good. Okay, well, that kind of mind uh, going on over there, and Paula, too, will solve these puzzles. That's what it's all about. We look at the words on the puzzles, and we solve the mystery, and you get a prize. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. uh, this is not so simple, but the prize is sure worthwhile. Uh, Paula and Al put one word on a puzzle, solve it with one piece of information. Isn't that easy? But you win a brand new automobile just like this one. Jerry Do Bishop? Believe it? Yes, Paula and Al, how would you like to drive home in the Buick Opal? A two-door coupe with four-speed transmission offers a combination of performance with economy. The Opal by Buick. Good luck to both of you. Now that's a hood ornament, I want to tell you. Yeah, Jerry. So we got to win some money from an Oscar winner and a Hee Haw honey. That's, that's exactly <laughs> right. Yeah, it's done it all. Hey, Al, you won the toss, so you're going to begin. Ah. Okay, I'd like to start with uh, one across with Rita Moreno, please. Okay, Rita, it's six-letter word for you. Folks with rural roots know you don't have to be what to do a what dance. You don't have to be uh, You don't have to be what to do a what dance? Uh, a square dance. That's right. You don't have to be a square to do a square dance. That's right. And that is the first word on the puzzle, Big Al. Could be a car for you. What do you think? I'm going to go for points. That's not enough. Two okay. down, please. Looking for a place. Misty is up. Two down. Three-letter word. Uh, has an R. The beginning spelling variation for you, Misty. Rudolph the reindeer spent the other 364 nights perusing books, magazines, and newspapers, which is why he was so well what? Red. So well yeah. read. That's right. yeah. One down, please. <laughs> One down for Rita. Uh, Six-letter word. You know Rudolph's S brother Randolph. <laughs> yes, I heard okay, about it. Okay, go him. ahead. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't stop, I remember. Yeah, well, no, no. <laughs> Six-letter word starts with an S. Uh, a union, Rita, or sounds like We were hungry and so the two of us were invited to sit down at the table. And so the two of us sat down 
Und what? What, what? I'd really like to hear that one more time. <laughs> Don't do it! I mean, is this a, a union <laughs> or what? Mm. I mean, you, I yeah. left you at union. A union uh, yeah, well, or a, what? A, a, a union. Or. Yeah. We were hungry, and so the two of us were invited to sit down at the table, and so the two of us sat down. And. <laughs> what? 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 That's <laughs> Easter. Yeah. And uh, we sat down. Or and a union. We, uh, <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> I think we he knows. We sat down and we. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 I don't know. <laughs> and we sat down and. What? Soviet? 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 Oh, yeah! Okay, Soviet. yeah. <laughs> You sure may, Al. Yeah, Take seven it's seconds. Moscow. And so be it. <laughs> right. Take it to 250. Win your prize, Al. Finish Moscow? Finish. Moscow. Oh. Yes. Easy as that. All right, so others you didn't need uh, three across Lenin's uh, to go with uh, five across tomb and four across capital of the Soviet Union, capital city is four, now city is four. What now. was the clue for three across? <laughs> three across, uh, which clue? one? You don't want to hear it. Oh, no? <laughs> no. Okay, no. Pass on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, do we want to hear that? Who wrote that? Oh, yeah. 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 For three across. Mark yeah. Maxwell Smith wrote this. Yeah, see, uh, so many great showbiz brother, brothers, uh, Groucho and Karl Marx, uh, Jack and Jimmy Carter, uh -huh. and of course, John and Vladimir are the who? <laughs> <laughs> the Lenin. Uh, yeah. All right. Glad we won. <laughs> yeah. Al, you did it well. Here's your prize. Al, it's a sofa sleeper. A beautiful traditional style queen size converter sofa featuring a standard TV headrest and luxurious four inch polyfoam mattress from Broy Hill. Nice going, Al. Thank you. All right, Paula, that's the way it goes. Uh, so uh, you can do it right back to him, though. That's you got the way it went. 250 to make that's up. That's not the way it goes. Your turn next. Uh, we'll get the puzzle ready. Stay there. And now, Jack Clark. Speaking of Danny's hair, all right. <laughs> Thank you, Jerry Bishop. Let's get some points over there, Paula. Why not? Three across, Again. please, with Nipsey. Four-letter word for you, Nips. Uh, sounds like when the doctor saw Edgar Allen across the room, she waved and said, what, what? <laughs> uh... Edgar Allen across the room. Yeah, yeah, she saw Edgar Allen across the room. She waved and said, what, what? Hello, Poe. Uh, uh, Nevermore. Uh, Raven <laughs> said, uh... Four letters. Poet. Yeah, some across the room and said, what, what, Paula? Hi, Poe. Yes. That's right. Hi, Poe. Yeah, I said hello, Poe. <laughs> Hi, Poe. Edgar Allen. I guess greetings Ed wouldn't have fit, huh? No. <laughs> That's what I was trying to do. <laughs> no, we're going to try. I didn't, I didn't factor in the word doctor. That's right. That's right. Paula? One down, please. Uh, I uh, would take that to mean that you don't want to try for the car. You could, oh. if you want. Because that's the first word. And you could get a car for you and yours and yours. <laughs> if you don't know, don't no. go. <laughs> One down, please. All right, we're looking for things. And uh, Jack is up. The one down is five letters. H is the second one, Jack. Uh -huh. Although it wasn't meant that way, Sally, the sappy singer, took it as a compliment when the conductor told her she wasn't too what? Uh, sharp. Exactly. Uh, For guys. Uh, yeah. She didn't know. Well, boy, you're not too so sharp. And she said, that, thank you. <laughs> See, I thought it was flat. <laughs> you saw her. A, di a different sappy singer. <laughs> Two down, please. Two down for Nipsey. Five letter word for you. Oh, is the second one, Nips. Uh, a dull person knows you don't have to be late to miss the what? <laughs> a dull person? Yeah. To you you don't have to be late to the miss the point. Miss the point, <laughs> Ollie. That's right. <laughs> oh, we must be done. I know what we're talking about. All right, let's go to Jack, if you'd like to, Paula. Five across, please. Mm, yes, you'd like to. Five-letter word, Jack. T is the second one. Spelling variation. The uh, 
clumsy burglar dropped ink on the carpet, left heel marks on the linoleum, dirty fingerprints on the windowsill, thereby ruining what he thought would be a stainless what? <laughs> uh, oh, yes, stainless steel. <laughs> a stainless steel, that's right. <laughs> What's your pleasure now, Paula? Silver carpet. Nobody has it. Well, well it's uh, uh, if, if four down. All right. She's four not down. encouraged yet that you know it, so we will go on to an Ipsy. Four down, three letters. E is the last one. A type of shadow. Nipsy? A what? A, A type, type of shadow. Of shadow. Oh. Oh, a type of shadow. Ha <laughs> ha. An eye shadow. Eye shadow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, we better go to conference. What do you want to do next? Conference. All right, I think she was looking for a little guidance there, guys. Seven seconds, things. Oh, I think right oh. This would give you a handsome lead, Paula. Needles. Yes, ma'am. Needles. <laughs> And seven across yeah, knitting needles, and uh, five down sewing needles, and six down pine needles, and steel needles, and hypo needles, and all those needles. What's the needles. clue for six down? Okay, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> a I mean, tropical apple. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't go to that. Yeah, 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 that's the one that can hang you up. <laughs> Paula, you won a prize. Let's take a look at it. Paula, it's a combination microwave oven and range. The Mi Range, only from Caloric. Full power, 700-watt, all-in-one microwave and electric range. Speed of countertop microwave and versatility of an electric range. From Caloric. Paula, nice going. Um. Well, neither Paul nor Paula nor Al like to give the puzzle away once they get it. So, uh, Al, you're going to get the next one after we do a little bit of business and see if you can hang on to it and catch up. We'll find out. Two minutes. And now, Jack Clark. Thank you, Jeff. Jeff Bishop. 250 to 320. Al, it's your puzzle. Looking for person. Okay, two across, please, with Rita Moreno. Here comes, Rita. Five letters. According to a note from our staff, you might be able to read this without seeing any words. Uh, your mind. According to a note from our staff, you might be able to read this without seeing any words. Uh, what do you read from a... <laughs> I'm just <laughs> looking. A note from a mind, not minds. Uh... Figure it out, Al? I have no idea. I'll read a book. Mm -hmm. no, okay, there's a lot of nodding place. going on over at Paula's side. Place. Let's see if it pays off. Take the same place. Two across, please. Who will play? Nipsey. According to a note from our staff, you might be able to read this without seeing any words. Well, if the notes are from your staff, it's got to be music. And you are right. <laughs> And there was even another little clue, a chord. A chord. Oh, isn't that a oh, note oh. staff. All right. Kill so yourself. Uh, ding is also. <laughs> yeah, ding is. Yeah. <laughs> That's full of clues. I, How could you I miss? Mean, yeah, that was just amazing that you didn't get it. <laughs> Jack, two down, please. There you go. It's for Jack, six-letter word. Has an M at the beginning. Uh, almost sounds like, Jack. Okay. Silly little meters. Oh, uh, Miller. Milli. Millimeters. Millimeters. Silly little millimeters. Yeah, that was a slogan for a cigarette, I think, some years ago. Silly little millimeter long. Girl. Oh. Boy. What do you want to do now, Paula? One down, please. Okay, Nipsey, it's for you. Seven letters. I third. Queen Elizabeth's favorite subjects. Queen Elizabeth? Queen Elizabeth? The monarch of the empire <laughs> would, of course, like British. Subjects. That's right. Oh. You're, so, you're so formal today. I can't believe it. Five hundred. Five across, please. Jack, five letters. S at the beginning. Mancini makes these tracks. Uh -huh. uh, uh, when he's in the snow? No. Uh, it would be uh, sound. Sound tracks. Yeah, great man of music. It's the soundtrack. The movies. What now, Paula? You have to tell me if you're going to conference, honey. We'll conference. All right, here you go. Seven seconds. A person. Okay. 
Talking about Julie folks. Andrews. We are indeed Julie Andrews. <laughs> and four across of to go with sound of music. Uh, six across star certainly is, and three down modern Millie, uh, thoroughly mm. modern Millie, She's British and fine star, fine talent. You've got some lead now, young lady. Mm. Here's your prize. Paula. This time it's the Frederick Air Conditioner for Cool Comfort. A room air conditioner to give you energy, economy, plus quality and dependability. From Frederick. Nice going, Paula. All right, well, Al, you got to get back in the game, my oh, friend. You got, you got a lot of points to make up. We got another puzzle ready for you. It's about things this time. Please. So make use of the time, my friend. Okay, one across with Rita Moreno. All right, it's nine letter word for you, Rita. If a loony logger slept with a bunch of his favorite green vegetables, you might say the dumb... Oh! oh. Let me what see. might you say? 90 and 100. Uh, it couldn't happen mathematically. You'll finish your turn, Al, but let our mother-to-be, Paula, enjoy this moment. You won. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you started your turn. It's fair that you complete it, Al. Uh, uh, one across is nine letters. Uh, and Rita, if a loony logger slept with a bunch of his favorite green vegetables, you might say the dumb lumberjack slumbered with a number of what? Uh, number of uh, green, green vegetables. vegetables. Um, lumberjack slumbered with a number of. Slept. Uh, slept with. Uh, boy. Uh, my brain Al. is... Cucumbers? Yes. <laughs> Cucumbers. Good for you. Num oh, numbers. Now, complete the turn. Talk it over. That's all you've got to go oh, with. See if you can solve it. Rita best. and Misty. Cucumbers is the clue. Things. All right. Sing. Salad vegetables? Say again. Salad vegetables? Salad vegetables. No. Salads. No, no, no. What are made from cucumbers? Pickles. Pickles. Oh, That's great. right. Doggone uh, it. Barrel and dill and brine and sweet and relish. All pickles. Doggone it. Well, Al, you did uh, solve the one puzzle. You got the sleeper sofa. And I hope you'll have good memories of being on the show. I we will. I had a it. great time. Thank, Thank you, you, Al. That's Al Cummings. Thank you. Thank you. And Paula, we will hurry along now. Get that crossfire ready for you. That'll take us a couple of minutes. Stay there. <laughs> Vacation trip. How about that? So. Let's do it. Put the words up there. You get the trip. And what else? We got Jerry. Well, Jack, if Paula guesses all ten words, she'll win a Viscount Electronic Organ, a high-style musical instrument and lovely simulated walnut cabinet offers easy-to-play features that your whole family will enjoy. From Viscount, good luck to you, Paula. I don't know whether you heard Paula say that. She knows how to play one of those things, too. Let's win it for you. Who's going to help you, Paula? Uh, because he... Because I've seen him on so many other uh, editions of Crosswitz, Nipsey Russell, please. He's a good player. Yeah. Good choice. When he isn't up in Las Vegas doing his thing there. Don't okay. spank the baby in the face because nature has provided a better place. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Work well together, you two. Uh, we'll start the clock as soon as you ask for your first word. Good luck, Paula. Seven across, please. A Roman garment. Toga. Yeah. Uh, two, seven down. Uh, to pull a boat or a barge. Toga. Yes. Eight across. A low voice for a girl singer. Alto. Alto. Yes. Six down. Chum. Pow. Yes. Five across. A summer Boy Scout destination. Camp. Camp. Yes. One down. Mouth organ. Harmonic. Yes. One across. Elvis Presley had a hit about this hotel. Heartbreak. Heartbreak. Yes. Two down. All right. Movie actress Sally from the movie MASH. Kellerman. Kellerman. Yes. Four across. What you do to Taffy. Pull. Pull. Yeah. Three across. Suggestive, risque. Rot, uh... Suggestive, risque. Rough, rot, raunchy. Suggestive, Sus risque. Ruin, rough, ru rough, ruinous. Uh, suggestive. suggestive. Risque. 
Risky. Risque. Risque. Rough. Rowdy. Rowdy. Um. Oh. Risque. Body. Risque. Suggestive. Yeah, it's, uh, well, you, you've said it a hundred times. Rude? Racy. Racy? Oh, This is yeah. a racy joke, a racy movie, Magazines, a racy magazine, and yeah. racy and risque, yeah. Oh, 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 we got, oh we got yeah, the gee, you get Heartbreak Hotel and Sally Kellerman and Harmonica and Toga and all those things and racy. Oh, nuts. Well, listen. You got some things already, haven't you? We did one. You want to see what else? Yeah. There's more, right, Jerry? Right you are, Jack Paula. It's a week for two at the new California Hotel in Las Vegas. Big oh, and beautiful. Enjoy really headliners in the Long Beach Lounge. Excellent food at the Santa Barbara and Coronado Dining Room from the new California Hotel in Las Vegas. Thank I was you. looking at you up there. Thank you. Moon, yeah. Yeah, she was here last time with moonbeams and suffering through that and say, oh, yeah, boy, play it again, Sam. I got it now. It's the time you want to kill yourself over. Yeah, I know, I know. Well, you did pretty well, though. The range, the air conditioner. And uh, after you do we what did. you're in the job of doing, then you and your guy can go up to Las Vegas and have a good time. That's wonderful. Okay, <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah.